when I don't like somebody, I don't watch them, I don't hate watch, I don't go to their Instagram, I don't go to their Twitter. Nope. Why bother? I don't like, if I don't like somebody, I don't like somebody. The fact that this grown ass man is worried about what I'm doing <laughs> is so pathetic. Like, yo, Roadhog, bro, you need to come to the realization that other people besides me don't like you. I know that's like really, really hard for you to understand because you just have a really hard time just not being accepted or liked or whatever it is that your problem is. But if you're going to be on the internet, you got to put your big boy panties on because, you know, people on the internet aren't going to like you, dude. Like, watching him cry in his truck, I got a clip this morning, and he's like, what are you doing? I thought you were taking a break. It you know, AZ and the rest of this fucking, and, and I'm going to call them exactly what they are, the rest of the bitch squad. Oh, this, that, that. I thought AZ was taking a break, or did I misconstrue that she said she had a death in her family which i'm sorry you had a death but you were like oh i'm taking some time off you didn't take no fucking time off girl you still on twitter and that's you know not that it's any of your fucking business you fucking sloth but my uncle has not died yet He's coming, he came off dialysis. They expected him to be dead already. He didn't die yet, you know. Um, sorry that's inconveniencing you. But speaking of breaks, remember when your wife tortured your kid for the second time around? No, you did it first, she did it again. And you were like, oh, I gotta take a break. And then like fucking three hours later, you guys were streaming. So just shut up, you look stupid. Stop, stop infiltrating my Instagram. Stop looking at my Twitter. If I don't mean shit to you, then why are you stalking me, bro? Why are you doing that? That's so weird. Weird energy. And then you have in a stream about how, how ugly I am and this, that. Bro, if you looked in the mirror, like, really. Shout out to Omega for making that video, man, because, yeesh, yikes. You are not runway material, my friend. And if there was a modeling competition between me and you, man, I think, I think, in my opinion, I might come out ahead of you, Roadhog, so you should probably just shut the fuck up, because you're just looking silly. Well, you did a pork chop last night. Anybody that has a differing opinion, we, everybody's been yelling at the rooftops forever now. Roadhog, people are allowed to not agree with you, Roadhog. If anybody, and I mean literally anybody, is looking at Nat saying that I said these things or anything else, then you must be as dumb as a box of rocks. And uh, if you believe anything Nat says, God help you. Um, but later tonight, when I have a little bit of time, we're going to talk about what happens when an ex mod goes rogue and uh, starts believing that shit. And I'm not going to say their name out loud right now because I want to give them a chance to directly contact me, not be a coward, because um, I'm not going to throw their name under the bus right now. I'm going to give them a chance. They threw my name under the bus, but you know what? I'm going to give them the um, respect that I, I think somewhat right now they deserve because they did mod for me for quite a while um, to contact me. And let me know what the hell is going on before I take her or him and throw that shit right under the bus. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do another live, which will be more in depth. And I, I, I will call this person out. And that'll probably be around 8 o'clock. So I'm, I'm giving due notice. This isn't something that'll be surprised or anything else like that. I'm giving about three hours of due notice. That if you're going to sit here and say that there's grains of salt and throw up some fake ass screenshots and all this. <coughs> and what's funny is it looks like that person's been in contact with Matt. Um, we'll go there and we will address it and we'll take care of it because that's what we do around here. We don't, we don't hide behind shadows. We don't hide behind our, our names. We don't hide behind Twitter. We don't hide behind Twitter. We don't hide behind Twitter. But I'm going to give this person the opportunity to get a hold of me directly on, on Twitter. But at 8 o'clock, if you haven't contacted me, well, your name's going to get dropped. Your name's going to get dropped. I'm going to respect that you're sitting there. And it does seem funny. It seems like you're talking to Matt. Because I don't know how you got these screenshots or anything else unless you had been talking to Matt. If you do know who I'm talking about, go spread the word to him. Let him know they got until 8 o'clock to come talk to me. And try to explain to me why they why they basically threw me under the fucking bus. About eight o'clock tonight. Three hours from now. Oh, it's not three hours. It's like I'm fucking I'm lost here. My time's off. Two hours from now. Sorry, two hours from now. Eastern time. Uh, we'll go live and we'll you know we'll discuss who it is. You know. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Roadhog. People are allowed to not agree with you. That can happen. You know. Nobody has to agree with you all the time. God, I can't imagine that. Wifey's probably like, what happened? fucking meatloaf for dinner he's like no the fuck we're not
my way or the highway, bitch. What's the matter? The whole Matt conversation with Regan didn't work out for you? Hmm? Did, did Nat not help you with Regan's address? You fucking creepazoid. Fucking creepazoid. I have, let's face it, bro. I have nothing to do with Regan. I have nothing to do with reasons why anybody else dislikes you. Contrary to what you think, I don't hold that kind of power. There are other people who don't like you. You are a junkyard bully. And that's it. And I heard that shit in that fucking video last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, don't be talking about me when you fucking get hypertension and it's gonna start acting up, dude. I'm telling you. Hypertension, stress, all that shit, it raises your blood pressure. I'm okay, give me, a, give me a $50 Amazon gift card to anybody that can bring me their real name. <laughs> this is the internet. You fucking pop tart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. You can't call me a dumbass because my teachers and parents called me dumbass. Alright, dumbass. But it's okay for you to, you know, make fun of my sobriety. Bitch, you're not even as big as KJ. And I'm gonna call you out because she's like, now nah, Rohawk's disgusting and he's this and he's that. Well, so are you, you fucking pillhead. Then you have a fucking relapse? You sitting here calling somebody disgusting? Fuck you, I don't want your respect. Nobody's trying to be like your fake Boston ass. As far as I'm concerned, AZ is nothing but a bleach-haired little bitch. Now I called you out of your name because you deserve it. I'm gonna do this. You wanna throw up pose, bitch. That's all the fuck you can do is throw up pose. Nobody likes you. I ain't no pussy. I'm not one of these other motherfucking little bitches out here fucking around with. You're just a wannabe fucking bug hoe. Hey. You know? But all those videos are erased, aren't they? All 400 and something thousand views, all erased. Because you can't help but hide. Hide, delete, retreat. You got you what? 7,000 subscribers? Who gives a fuck? Bitch, you couldn't even be in my platform. You couldn't even live my life. You listening to yourself? Bitch. Yeah, t spiracy, because that's how the fuck you are, is spiracy. He said a lot worse than dumbass. I know. You can't call me a dumbass, but I can call you whatever the fuck I want. Here's what I'm going to say. If Todd Paulson wants to do something, let Todd Paulson be a man. Stop fucking holding his hand with him, bitch. That's exactly what you're doing, is holding Todd Paulson's hand. If Todd Paulson wants to take me to fucking court, let Todd Paulson do it. Otherwise, take your bitch ass on, take care of your kid, and shut the fuck up, drug head. What's the matter? Did we lose the mod raiders? The way he's attacking women is another example, in my humble opinion, of abusive behavior. The barrage of C word, bitch, C sucker, it's all verbal abuse. Yeah. Just like at school, when people can't use their brains, they will sit there and just yell profanities and make fun of your appearance. Like, this is the thing anybody can make fun of someone's appearance even the most beautiful person in the world can be made fun of like anybody can make fun of someone's appearance okay but it actually takes brain cells to form a cohesive response and he's never been able to do that because he can't handle it the very first video he ever made about me he went off the fucking deep end face first